Hi friends, in this video we will try to revise the portal vein as well as the portocable anastomosis. Portal vein as you know uh, it is a system of veins or portal system together uh, is all the veins which will be draining the abdominal part of the digestive tube. So all the veins which are draining the digestive tube uh, in the abdomen will be part of the portal system. So and that will be that system finally will be draining through the portal vein except the lower part of the rectum as well as the anal canal that will be draining into the systemic vein. This also as I said uh, along with the digestive system it will be also receiving the uh, venous blood from the spleen, pancreas as well as the gallbladder. The formation of this portal vein is by the joining of the two important veins that is the superior mesenteric vein joining with the splenic vein just in front of the, the inferior vena cava at the level of L2 vertebra and behind the neck of the pancreas. So this is the neck of the pancreas just behind the neck of the pancreas will be the formation of this portal vein by joining of the spermicentric vein with the splenic vein. Coming to some of the peculiar features of the portal vein, this uh, portal vein even though it is a vein and it begins like a vein from the capillary plexus but ends as a artery by dividing into uh, the portal branches. Usually vein will be having tributaries but this will be having branches and it will be finally uh, dividing like an artery uh, into the hepatic sinusoids. Uh, the other second feature is uh, it is devoid of valve. Usually the veins will have valves but the portal vein will be devoid of valves. The third is along with the venous blood it also carries the nutrition, the, the absorbed products of the digestive food because it is coming from the draining all the digestive uh, part of the intestine, the small intestine especially which will be absorbing lot of nutrition and it will be pumped into the uh, liver for metabolism. So this even though it is vein it will be carrying digestive food if not it is usually the arteries which will be supplying the different parts of the cells and tissues of the body. The course is it will be extra hepatic as well as intrahepatic. So the, the extra hepatic part is which is outside the liver. So all this part the portal vein and its branches initial branches then the intrahepatic part how it divides into branches and further into smaller branches and how it supplies the liver. Coming to the relations it is divided into three parts the infra uh, duodenal part which is below the duodenum, retro duodenal part which is behind the duodenum and the part which is above that that is called as the uh, supra duodenal. Infra duodenal as you can see you can see in the front we can see the, the neck of the pancreas itself and behind will be the iota as well as the, the, uh, the inferior vena cava. Uh, uh, retro duodenal as the name itself indicates anteriorly there will be duodenum and behind again there will be the iota as well as the inferior vena cava. Uh, supra duodenal part here uh, mostly it will be the, the liver especially the right lobe of the liver as well as some uh, part of the intestines and posteriorly the again the inferior vena cava as well as the, the iota itself. This is in brief about the relations. So here again the blood supply of the liver has been shown by the portal vein and hepatic artery and how they are divided into branches and if you take one hepatic lobule and you can see the blood supply. Uh, the artery area and the venous blood will be uh, mixing with each other. You, you can see here the branch of the portal vein and the hepatic artery. The blood of both will be mixed here and it will be passing to the central vein and from the central vein it will be going into the hepatic veins and finally draining the liver. Okay. Uh, so here the bile flow will be opposite to the blood flow. By blood flow will be towards the central vein and the bile flow will be opposite to by, towards the uh, hepatic uh, 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 trigone. Okay. Uh, coming to the tributaries of the portal vein, the main veins which will be forming the portal vein itself will be mesenteric as well as the splenic vein. Then we have these uh, smaller tributaries like the right gastric as well as the left gastric, the, the right gastric and the left gastric as well as we have the cystic vein here which will supply the, the gallbladder and the paraumbilical vein as well as the, the superior pancreatic or duodenal vein. Okay. So these are some of the tributaries of the portal vein itself. Okay. So here you can see the spermicentric vein, this is the, the, uh, the splenic vein, this is the inferior mesenteric, this is the left gastric, here will be the right gastric, these are the paraumbilical veins and here will be the cystic vein okay. which has not been shown. 
coming to the porta cable anastomosis this is the sites where the portal vein will uh, the, uh, the branches of the uh, the tributaries of the portal vein will be anastomosing with that of the the tributaries of the the uh, systemic veins like the superior and inferior uh, vena cava okay so what are the sites one is at the lower end of the esophagus the second is at the lower end of the rectum and the anal canal the third is around the umbilicus and the fourth one is behind the pancreas uh, sorry the per peritoneum uh, and the fifth will be at the bare area of the liver the sixth will be near the falciform ligament and the seventh will be near the the fissure of the ligament of venous so these are the seven sites where there will be uh, anastomosis will be anastomosis uh, anastomosis will be taking place these are the sites shown this is near the the lower rectum part of the rectum and then i cannot this is the esophagus and here it will be the the parambolical veins all this okay coming to each one of them okay one is at the lower end of the esophagus here will be the lower end of the esophagus here and the tributaries of the esophageal tributaries coming from the the left gastric vein which is part of the portal vein will be anastomosing with the esophageal tributaries of the hemiazygous vein which will be part of the the systemic veins Uh, this leads if there is an increase in the portal pressure then it leads to a condition called as the esophageal varices okay the second is at the lower end of the rectum and the anal canal where the the superior rectal vein which is part of the the uh, the portal system portal system has been shown in light blue color or violet color and the dark blue will be the systemic veins okay and the systemic veins coming from the middle and the inferior rectal veins and if there is any portal uh, hypertension then it, it leads to the internal piles or uh, hemorrhoids coming to the parambolical vein around the umbilicus the third is at the umbilicus parambolical vein which is part of the portal system will be anastomosing with the all the veins of the anterior abdominal wall all the veins of the anterior abdominal wall like the superior epigastric lateral thoracic superior so superficial epigastric inferior epigastric posterior intercostal as well as the lumbar veins and it leads if there is any portal pressure then it leads to a condition called as caput medici we'll see the picture for that later behind the peritoneum it will be between the splenic vein splenic and colic veins with the left renal vein we'll show the picture for that okay coming to the fifth at uh, the bare area of the layer here will be the bare area that is part of the uh, liver which is not covered by peritoneum so here the uh, portal radicals of the liver which are coming from the systemic will be nostromosing with the diaphragmatic veins which will be systemic okay uh portal radicals will be from the portal vein the fifth will be sixth will be falciform ligament which is a ligament of the liver where the paraumbilical veins which are portal veins will be nostromosing with the diaphragmatic veins which are systemic at the sixth uh, seventh will be the fissure of the ligamentum venosum where the uh, in case of the uh, fetal life where the left branch of portal vein will be anastomosing with the inferior vena cava through the ductus venosus these are seven seven sites where there will be portal cable anastomosis so here it is showing the especially to show the behind the liver uh, behind the peritoneum where the left renal vein will be anastomosing uh, this is the left renal vein which will be anastomosing with the the systemic vein that is the splenic vein coming to development of the portal vein it develops from two vital veins right and the left the the vital in vein will start uh, communicating with each other like this uh, the anastomosis proximal as well as distal ventral anastomosis and dorsal anastomosis later parts of it start disappearing and finally it becomes what it is like this okay parts of it start disappearing and finally it becomes the portal vein and its tributaries coming to the last aspect that is the applied aspects of clinical aspect portal hypertension as i said the normal portal pressure is 10 to 15 mm of mercury but if it increases more than 40 mm of mercury then it leads to something condition called as portal hypertension this is might be because of the cirrhosis of liver or thrombosis of the portal vein or bantis disease and it leads to conditions like the ascites where there will be uh, the abdomen filled with fluids then con congestive splenomegaly then there might be a uh, spokel wheel like uh, appearance around the umbilicus called as caput medici then there might be esophageal varices as well as hemorrhoids piles this is all because of the the portocaval uh, these are all the sites where we saw that there are portocaval anastomosis okay 
So these are pictures showing you uh, the this is the ascites, then this is the caput medusae, and this is showing the esophageal varices, and finally this is the esophageal varices here we can see, and finally the internal hemorrhoids. These are all about the uh, the different anatomical uh, applied aspects, uh, the anatomical aspects. Okay. Uh, this is all about the uh, the portal vein as well as portal hypertension.